So here we are, we're heading off to a friend of mine, Tanya. She needs a shot for her real estate business. She's been asking me for a while to do this. I keep putting her off. And uh, so today we're doing it. So I got one hour, we're gonna use one light. We're gonna use a reflector. And uh, we're not even gonna have time to talk over there. We're just gonna roll in, set up, shoot. See what we can get. We're doing it at her house, so it's easy for her to be able to change her clothes. Um, house doesn't have a lot of grass or anything, so we're gonna have to kind of keep it out of focus in the background. Doesn't take four hours to get a shot like this. It really should be able to get a nice shot for somebody in an hour, an hour and 15. I mean, that's plenty of time. After a while, people get impatient. They're not gonna to wanna to stick with it that long anyway. For those of you who say I don't do simple things, today's the day. Tanya is going to use this image for her real estate business. So in preparation for the shoot, I went online, looked at her competitors, tried to get an idea of what they all had done, to make sure we did something that was going to stand out, be interesting for her in her business. It's really important to know the market and how the image is going to be used. A time update, <laughs> we've been here for 10 minutes. We got here late, didn't we? She needs to feel happy with the shot, so I'm showing her the images as we go. You know, some people are uncomfortable with doing that, but in the end, she's got to be happy. Can you take a couple of more like that? Sure. So I want her to see the images, see the process, feel positive about it, and when we're done, she's going to be a lot happier. And the light's going to have to go uh, a little further over and up just a little bit because I'm seeing it in the frame here. There you go. Yes, I gave in and brought out a second Baja for rim light. You know, her hair's just gonna look nicer with a little bit of light in it, a little bit of brightness. I couldn't resist. Okay, backing up, backing up. I'm at 200 millimeters on my lens. I just love how out of focus the background becomes, but the background can be bright or dark. So I'm gonna turn her slightly to get in the right place so I can make the background look perfect behind her head. And let's turn your whole body. Turn out, yep, yeah, a little more. Yeah, right in there, there you go. When the background is not interesting, I go to a 200 millimeter lens every time. It gives me the shallow depth of field that I need to isolate the subject and make that uninteresting background just go away. If the background's bad, throw it out of focus. Then no one knows where you're at. We're gonna color correct the images we shot of her in the white blouse and bring some warmth back into them. This was a simple shoot, but applied so many photographic principles. I hope you found it interesting. So our one hour, one light, uh, one reflector turned into hour and a half, two lights, and one reflector. So it was close. We didn't use high speed sync. Um, the sun was getting pretty low, didn't really need it. Went to try it at one point and it wasn't, wasn't happening very easily and so we just moved on. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. Don't estimate alone. Don't stand out in the cold all by yourself. Try to put together an estimate. Go to thuslandlands.com slash estimating. I've got a digital download that will teach you everything you need to know. You don't have to be alone any longer. And I looked at the headshots. Two miles. Take exit 20 on to C2 at Angeles Crest Highway toward the Canada Flint Bridge. And two miles. We have to take an exit off the freeway. Anyway, what I did is I got on the...